This video demonstrates how to protect and license a Unity 3D application running on a Mac computer. You can do the same thing on a Windows computer. Let's start by looking in our source folder. We see a copy of our unprotected Unity application and an icon file we want to apply during the wrapping process. If we examine in more detail the unprotected application, we can see that all of its uh, resources are fully exposed. So we're going to launch AppProtect to protect the application. And within the main AppProtect window, we have a path to our unprotected Unity application, a path to the icon file we want to apply, and a path to an output folder where we're going to generate the protected application. We're going to generate this as a 64-bit application so it's uh, ready to go on modern Mac computers. And finally, we're going to add one additional protection layer for our Unity application. So we'll click the Build button. We've start the, started the process now. It's building a protected application. And when it's finished, it's going to put it into our output folder. If we go look at our output folder now, we can see the generated application. And if we try to look at the details of that inside the application bundle, we can see everything is now encrypted and protected from the user's view. We can rename our protected application to whatever we want and distribute it to users, usually as an internet download, and usually it's delivered onto their computer with an installer. When they launch for the first time, the user will be presented with a dialog where they have to enter a computer unique password. On the development computer, we can enter the user's password number and get the password required by that user for their specific machine. And on uh, first launch, there's an initialization process that takes place on the customer's computer, and then the application begins running. We've shut down the application now, and we'll close that protect as well. From now on, whenever the user wants to launch the application, they just double click and immediately it begins running. As a developer or a customer, you may prefer a more automated serial number activation process. And we're going to show that as well. So we've linked up our AppProtect with an online activation server by entering this URL and selecting the serial number checkbox. And we've set up a safe activation account to automate this process. Now we won't go over the details of the setup process since that's defined in a little 10 minute tutorial, but generally we have a product record set up that's linked to our protected application by entering an activation calculation of P standing for password. And we put uh, the password seed into this field. We've enabled activation with the serial number required. And we have it linked to a little form that collects the serial number and linked to a group of serial numbers. And in that group of serial numbers, we can see that these serial numbers are already set up. And this is what we're selling to our customer. So we've already built our application with this uh, setup process. So it's ready to uh, distribute to a customer for activation. When a customer launches your application, they'll be prompted to enter a serial number. They'll enter the serial number you provided during the purchase process and the application will begin to run. Again, on first launch, it'll present the initialization dialog, it takes a moment or so, and then the application uh, runs normally thereafter. If you have more sophisticated licensing needs, you're going to want to use Quick License instead of AppProtect to protect and license your Unity application. For example, with Quick License, you can define a time limited trial license a product license, a try-by license, or subscription license. 
Let's take a look at a couple examples. We're going to launch the Quick License application, and within Quick License, you have the ability to set up all the information for a specific type of license. So if we've configured a time-limited trial license that auto-activates and expires after nine minutes and generated a ticket file from that. And likewise, we've done a similar setup for a product license. We're not going to cover the details of the setup process since those are included in a tutorial that comes with Quick License. If we look at our source folder, again, we're going to see our unprotected Unity application, an icon we want to apply, and now we see these two license ticket files that we've generated, the time-limited trial license and the product license. And we're going to use the add license wrapping tool that comes with Quick License. It's similar to uh, the way App Protect works. It allows you to select the application that you want to wrap, in this case, we're going to select the product license that we want to apply to it, the icon file in the output folder, and we're going to generate it as a 64-bit app. We're also going to set the option H to provide additional protection to our Unity application that will encrypt all the resources. And finally, since we want this to be a try-by dialog, we have another dialog we, where we can bring up. In addition to this product license, we can select the try-by option here. And then we can provide a URL that the user will be taken to if they click the buy button where they can purchase a serial number. And we'll have a path to the uh, same application that we want to wrap where we could, if we wanted to, have the same application expose a different version of the app for the trial process than it exposes for the full product uh, once it's activated. But we'll just use the same app in both cases. And here we have a path to our trial license and some information about that. Once we have everything set up the way we want, again, we'll click the build button, wait a few minutes, and we're going to have a protected version of our Unity 3D app built. If the customer launches our protected application, they're presented with a try-by dialog. They can start the trial process by clicking the try button. It auto-activates, and after a short initialization process, the Unity application will be up and running. If the user launches a second time, again, they'll get the try-by dialog and they can continue the trial process and immediately run the application. They can continue that process until the trial expires. Finally, if they decide to launch the application and actually buy a serial number so they can permanently activate it, when they click the activation button, they're going to be uh, presented with a dialog. In this case, you can collect a serial number and maybe some other information. In this case, we're going to collect a name. You could cl collect a company, email address, phone number, whatever you want to collect. And when the user activates the application, it will immediately begin running. To summarize, in this video we've shown how you can compress and encrypt all the resources within your Unity app. Using AppProtect, you can apply a simple product license that can be activated with a manual activation process or an online serial number activation process. Using Quick License, you can apply a lot of other licensing types as well, including tri license, trial licenses, product licenses, try-by licenses, and subscription licenses and that too can use either a manual or online activation process.